ah, balita ko lang. Uh, bumalik na daw sa coaching itong si Coach Raiko. Saan? Hindi sa Petro na. Pero sa Barahon. Hindi mo ba alam? Di ba nagpa-practice ka kasama mo? <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> yeah, he's been with us. Uh, he's been running practice um, since uh, Monday. Uh, so we finished a full week plus uh, today. Okay, crucial yung first week. <laughs> Yes, that was Hell Week. Hell Week. Oh, yes. But Bakit you know, hell week? Uh, introduction of uh, of his system, um, roles for the team, and you know, uh, basically how he runs practices. So, uh, I think uh, today we've uh, started uh, what we continued on from last week, and um, we've adapt. You know, we've we're trying to slowly adapt to his system, and you know, the guys are responding well. Malakas kita ngayon mas aista mo. Pag, uh, hell week eh, di pagod na pagod ka, mas oh, no. sakit ang nice. kasukasuan mo. Nine ice packs ako ah. <laughs> <laughs> Pero kasi sabi ng madami, no, um, itong si Coach Rico is disciplinarian. Um, well, you know, as as any coach naman, they always want uh, their plays to be run effectively. And I think Coach Rico is just one of those players that really wants his plays to be executed properly till the end. Uh, ayaw niya yung mga shortcuts, he doesn't like players to do other things other than his system and you know that's that's acceptable especially for a team like like uh, where I'm playing at Barako uh, we don't have legitimate you know go-to guys and um, it's I, I think the system will be you know swak na swak siguro yung system niya for us kasi it, it involves a lot of movements a lot of back picks pick and rolls and uh, I think that's what we lacked last conference and I, I hope we'll do better um, is this uh, something that teams will be, you know, scared of. Itong pagdating ni Coach Raiko sa Barako Bowl. Kasi I think Barako means business now. Something new, no? Uh, something new to what we've uh, had in the PBA. Kasi nung si Coach Raiko sa Petron, I don't know how effective they were actually executing what he wanted to happen. So, baka dito nga sa Barako, like what Doug was saying, they're really working on it. Let's see what happens. Uh, na yung mismong system niya, malalaban na sa other nine teams. Thoughts? Ako siguro mas maganda tawagin natin si Charles. Charles! Charles! Oh, yan ang gusto mo eh! Charles! Charles! Umubuka na dito Charles! Umubuka na kita! Para may insider experience ka. Ano ba? Di, di ako nakikinig. Di ko nakikinig? Um, di, I don't know what... I wasn't listening. I was eating. Okay, mamaya ka na. Okay, Save see. the best for Reunited. Now. Coach Richard. Oh. Um, thoughts on the transfer I think ano, Rico? I think ano, it, Hindi naman tayo magugulat to whatever Coach Rico will bring to Barako because we we're very familiar with him. Uh, sa system niya sa Gilas before and then he implemented the same system sa Petron. So ito transfer lang niya dito sa Barako. I think it would all depend on how the players would accept that system. Uh, I think whatever system you're you're implementing sa team mo, I mean wala namang mas magaling kunya sabi mo mas magaling yung triangle sa dribble drive or dribble drive sa triangle or whatever uh, offense that you have yes kung paano mo mabebenta yan sa players and how they they'll buy into that system mm, Charles ikaw naman reunited ka with coach Rico di ba baraho ka na rin ayun hindi ko alam hindi mo alam kaya sa baraho ka na tatsak ng dito din pero kasi how is Coach Raiko, you know, steaming in new, the new I, I think he's really happy, you know, the guys have been working hard, the man, so he's really pleased with that. They've been responding well, as Doug said, uh, you know, um, he understands also that he doesn't have the most talented team, for sure. That's mm -hmm. why he also wants to push them to work harder because we have to beat them, other teams, by playing within a system, a structure. Because if we go one-on-one, -on -one, there's no way we're going to beat the more talented teams like Petron, San Mig, diba? I mean, it's tough. But, you know, I, I think we have a chance. The players seem confident. Uh, Josh Urbistondo thinks we're going to, you know, we, we're going to improve for sure. Our import, they have high hopes for, for the team. Mm, anything that we have to expect from your team now? Um... <coughs> I guess you're gonna see, you know, a better execution. I think the guys are, uh, well, so far, uh, based on the first yeah. week. I mean, we've been running the place pretty well, and uh, the guys have accepted the role so far. And I hope come the come the the start of the conference that it will continue on to be like that. And Coach Raiko still implementing his defense, uh, his defensive system, and 
Hindi pa naman yata kompleto, di ba? Coach Charles. Uh, do you guys have enough time? Hindi pa kompleto. Do you guys have enough time? Dahil, di ba, mga ibang system, it takes a while. You're gonna have, what, two months or less than two months? A month? Less than two weeks. Just a month. Feb 8. Feb 8 ang opening, di ba? Depends how our team will look like. If we're gonna add new players or what. Meron ba? Meron ba? I don't know, I'm just saying. Meron ba? Meron ba? I have no idea. Number one cheerleader! <laughs> you know! I saw it! I saw it! I saw it! I don't like sitting here, huh? Oh, no. <laughs>